Hey guys, Key here from Kegland and talking today about our Nuka Tap counter pressure bottle filler. This is a really handy device which is able to fill a range of different glass bottle sizes. Because it's got a telescopic end on it like so, you can fill, it, fill a range of different bottles in the smaller 300 mil size, the 330s, 375s, or even up to these half litre bottle, glass bottle swing tops that we sell as well. Um, so the handy thing about this is unlike other bottle filler types out there or counter pressure bottle tools, this one you don't even have to open your kegerator door. It's something that easily can attach to the spouts of your tap. Um, you can set it up within a few moments and it's a great way to get a high quality fill because you're counter pressure filling and purging the oxygen out of the bottle first, you're able to really get a good fill with very, very low rates of dissolved oxygen or DO as we call it. So um, yeah, if you're wanting to fill up a few beers to send off to a comp, this is the perfect tool for the job. Or if you just wanna, if you've got a kegerator set up like this and you just wanna take a few beers to a party, it's also a good thing to do. Or sometimes you've just got those few liters of beer occupying a keg space in your fridge and you wanna rack it off into bottles for storage so you can make room for another keg to go in there. So it's a really, really handy device. Anybody with a keg system, totally recommend this. It's super, super duper handy. Now if you look at the back of this unit, you can see we've laser engraved all the inputs and outputs here, so you really can't get them wrong. On the gas input side, for instance, we've got a duo type fitting here, but in the kit we give a few different types of fittings as well. So there's also an option to push your gas line directly in here, for instance. So if you've got your gas line, you don't necessarily have to use a disconnect. But honestly, because it comes with the quarter inch push in on this side, um, quarter inch thread to quarter inch duo type push in, you can use a carbonation cap, which is a really inexpensive way to make it easy to quick disconnect your gas line. So what I can do is just push that in there like so, get my gas line set up like this. Now you wanna have your gas pressure set to similar keg, similar pressures to what your kegs are set at you can have it even slightly higher as well, or similar. But basically, if I do that, then I can quick disconnect my gas line on like so. And now when I push this purge button, you can hear gas, which is actually coming in through the disconnect here and purging and pushing right down this telescopic tube to the bottom where it's gonna purge out the oxygen from that bottle. The other thing you can see is the beer inlet side here. So if you look at the beer inlet side, it comes uh, as standard with this type of attachment. Now, the nice thing about this type of attachment is it can go directly into your um, Nuka tap spout like so. It will fit some other taps as well. So if you've got, for instance, a Perlick tap, it'll also fit one of those or a lot of the standard spouts that are out there, you'll find this beer compatible. One thing you should know is that some particular font types, you may struggle with the clearance to actually get a bottle under here because some of these taps from the drip tray to the, to the underside of the tap are not that high. And you might find it a bit tricky to get the bottle under here. So one of the things with our particular design is we wanted to make it easy. So you could, instead of using this, you can unscrew that out of there and then use the included quarter inch to eight millimeter duo tight. So you can screw that in the top there like so, like that. And then you can use the beer line. So today I'm gonna to be doing the video with this in place. So this make, means that even if my taps are a bit low or at an inconvenient height, I can just screw this duo tight fitting into the tap and then go straight into the beer input side on the Nuka tap counter pressure bottle filler like so. Now that I've got all the plumbing sorted out, it's time to do some bottle filling and see this thing in action. First thing you wanna do is pull down the telescopic arm. Now, even if your bottle is shorter than how long the telescopic arm is, I generally will pull this down all the way because I've got a shorter bottle, it'll automatically push up this telescopic arm and ensure that the telescopic arm is going all the way to the bottom of the bottle. And that's one of the key features of making sure we get a good gas purge. So pull this all the way to the bottom like that, then get the, the bottle. I'm using these uh, 500 mil glass swing tops, push that up onto the stainless steel arm. But what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna push this all the way hard up to make a seal against the silicon seal just yet. I'm gonna have it slightly ajar like that. So when I push this purge button like so, it's actually purging the oxygen now, and you can kind of hear that hopefully on the microphone. It's purging oxygen and air out of this bottle here like so. So just do it for a few seconds. Should give us a pretty good purge. Once I'm comfortable, I've purged that out, push the bottle up against the silicon seal like so. So now it's sealed up against this top piece here. 
push the purge button a second time, except this second time I'm filling the bottle with some counter pressure. Now the reason for doing this is because I wanna make sure that when I fill, I don't just fill the bottle with a whole lot of foam and having the bottle under some counter pressure will do exactly that. Now that I've got this uh, pressurized, I can turn on the tap. So I've got some stout here, which I'm filling up today. And you'll see it's filling up into the bottle really slowly at the moment. And that's because my gas pressure is set to a very similar pressure to what my beer dispense pressure is. If you wanna feel faster, what you can do is just undo this knurled part. So on, the, on this control here, I've got two settings. We've got the outer large diameter knurled piece and I've got the inner knurled piece. Now the inner piece is to relieve pressure out of the bottle and the large knurled piece here is to set the counter pressure. So this is a little, it gives you a little bit more control than some of the other counter pressures which are similar on the market. So just by unscrewing that here, you can see that more gas is coming through now. You can probably hear that. I'm not sure if you can hear that on the microphone, but now I've unscrewed that, I'm starting to fill a little bit faster. Um, and once you have this set up once, you don't really need to touch that again. You just basically need to set it once. Uh, I might go a little bit faster because I've got pretty cold beer here. If your beer's nice and cold, like you know, close to zero degrees Celsius, you're gonna be able to fill really fast without getting much foaming at all. But if you're the kind of person who has this kegerator set to say three or four or five degrees, then really you're gonna get more foaming. So it's a better idea to, uh, to fill a little bit slower. So just as I get towards the top there, I might go a little bit more. As you can see, I can also control the flow with the beer tap itself and just top it up like so. When I get right to the top here, I wanna have minimum headspace because headspace also means oxygen exposure. So I wanna, wanna have a pretty good fill going all the way to the top there, then turn the tap off. And the lastly is because I've got pressure in here, I don't just wanna pull this bottle off straight away. I ideally wanna let the pressure out of the headspace in a controlled manner so I don't end up with a spurt of beer all over my chest. And that's what this little inner piece is for. So if I get this inner knurled piece and just pull that like so, that has just released that pressure out of the headspace of the bottle. So I can disconnect this in a very controlled manner. And then there you go. I've got a filled bottle ready to send off to the next beer comp. Now that pretty much wraps it up for our Nuka Tap bottle filler. One of the questions we had from our customers though, which I just wanna tackle with you guys, is they asked us how come you don't have a counter pressure can filler? And the reason for that is can filling is quite different to bottle filling. Counter pressure is not generally done in can filling because we generally cap on foam. So when I say cap on foam, we generally will fill the can up to the top like this. And as you can see, I've got a large amount of foam on top of the can. And when I get the cap, I basically putting this lid on like so, and as I'm pushing it on, that foam essentially is overflowing out of the side, and that's what's evacuating the oxygen out of the headspace. So counter pressure can filling doesn't actually make a lot of sense, which is why we don't really make any attachments for this device to a counter pressure fill a can. What we intentionally have on a can is a bit of excessive foam on the top, which is what we want. So when you put the cap on, it pushes that oxygen out. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a counter pressure canner, the first thing I'd say is look, forget about it. It's not actually necessary. Um, if you really wanted, you can purge some of the oxygen out of the can similar to this, but it's not really necessary to do this. For that reason, if you can filling, I would just recommend the uh, beer filling gun, which does a great job of purging, filling up, and then making sure you're filling to the top so you're capping on foam. Anyway, that wraps it up for today. Hope you enjoy uh, using this product. I think it's an awesome product. Anybody who's got a kegerator at home and likes to package up a few beers every now and then, this is a really, really useful tool. If you wanna hear about any of the other cool stuff we've got coming up, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's where all the new stuff uh, comes out and we talk about first. So if you wanna hear about the new stuff that's uh, launched, definitely bottom right hand corner, subscribe now. And of course, the Kegland Facebook community group. We've got lots of members now, thousands of you guys out there have joined that group sharing tips and tricks on how to get the most out of the gear. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye.